Hi everybody. I just wanted to share with you something remarkable that I have recently discovered uh, called Google Flights. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the most remarkable tool I have ever come across on the internet for finding the flights you want and picking uh, the cheapest times and the cheapest flights to travel. Uh, this is truly a revolutionary tool. You may already know about it. If so, you can just close out of this video right now, but I'm still floored by how incredible this is. And of course, it's brought to you by Google. So if you do a Google search for Google Flights, you will get to this page here. Uh, it's basically google.com forward slash flights. So it brings you right to this page. So you would enter your uh, departure airport or city. So I'm just going to enter or leave New York in here. And let's say I want to go to Las Vegas. So I'll just start to type part of the city name and pick the main airport there. And I'm going to pick the general time frame of when I want to travel. So let's say sometime in March, mid-March, returning about a week later, the 19th. So right off the bat, you're getting a list of airlines and prices. And this is nothing new here. And you just want to make sure that you're sorted by price for the round-trip flights. Okay, and as you scroll down, the price goes up. If you click on this little tool here, lowest fares. This is interesting in terms of what it does. It basically shows you a chart and as you can see about an eight week period here. You're looking at all of March, part of April, and part of February. And you're looking at the range of prices depending on when you leave. So if your goal is to really get the lowest possible round trip fare, you can see that if you change your dates a little bit you may or may not get significant fare differences so the cheapest flight possible in this entire time frame of let's say mid February to mid April would be February the 18th returning the 25th for a $270 round trip and if you click on that it shows you what that round trip is it's right here it's US Airways, it's not a non-stop flight, and it's from LaGuardia. And if you point to the stop, it tells you you have a layover in Philadelphia, apparently of two hours and 32 minutes. So you would leave LaGuardia at 5 and arrive at 11 p.m. Las Vegas time. So this is, again, just a, an incredible tool. Um, and if you're willing to change your vacation time to, let's say, earlier, let's say January to February, you can get the price down to 239 but you can quickly scan a very large period of time to see what are the general prices in that time frame. And they range anywhere from 240 in this example, all the way up to 570. Um, you can customize your search further by indicating you are only interested in nonstop flights if you're only interested in certain airlines instead of looking for all airlines and let's say you definitely don't want to fly with uh, Spirit or Frontier uh, you would want to make sure actually that they're unchecked so what I typically do is I would check the airlines I am interested in flying on uh, and the search tool just dynamically changes and now does not list the airlines that you did not specifically check you can limit your flight times and under more, uh, you can say which connecting airports you want to go through. I don't see that this is particularly useful, but here you go. Um, truly remarkable. You can even customize it in terms of business classes and even one-way flights. Bye-bye.